We are back with Asian Pacific America. It is always a nice feeling to be able to showcase a program that promotes youth, culture, and history, and that is the case here with the Firebird Youth Chinese Orchestra. Now, this group is an artistic and educational organization here in the Bay Area, a place where instructors and students play traditional Chinese instruments. They will be playing, appropriately enough, at a Chinese music appreciation event in Cupertino November 1st, and for us, here in the studio. Now, with us to talk about this unique combination of historic culture and young talent is the artistic director, Gordon Lee, and with us, student, Jacqueline G. Thanks, both of you, for being here. You. Jacqueline, let me start with you here. Um, sort of the obvious question in terms of having young people playing traditional instruments. How did you get interested in doing this? Originally, my, uh, my parents actually came from China, and at home, they often play Chinese um, music. And so that influenced me to be interested in this kind of music. I found that this sound was quite unique, so I joined this orchestra and found that I actually really liked it. Do you play another instrument besides this one? I do, actually. I play piano ever since I was about five. Are you able to do both, or is there quite a commitment to doing this? Um, I play piano now more as a hobby uh, once in a while when I have time. Before, I played it more as, like, more actually, like, I was committed to playing it, mm -hmm. and now I'm more focused on pipa. Do you feel, uh, you know, you're almost like carrying on a tradition, you know, you're, you're taking something and kind of moving it forward. Uh, do you feel that? Do you feel like you add something as a young person to the traditional music? I actually do. I feel like as a young person, it's like a different perspective um, as playing this traditional instrument, and I feel like it's like carrying on a Chinese um, tradition. That's very good. Now, we know that you're going to join the group over this, so thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Gordon, let me turn to you here and ask you a little bit. First of all, how did this group start? How did uh, it all get started? It started from my studio. Mm -hmm. yeah, about 20 years ago, I started to play piva and uh, teach uh, the instrument. And uh, about 1998, the students grow up and play together in the year 2000, we played together about uh, 13, 14 mm -hmm. musicians. And after the show, all these musicians would like to stay together. They said, we have to form an orchestra. <laughs> it's a, so naturally born. It's not a really designed to set up an orchestra, but the natural farm studio developed to an orchestra. Is it easier to teach young people this traditional kind of music? Or is it difficult? Th that's uh, some gap you know, mm -hmm. for this American growing up uh, Chinese or uh, adapt Chinese children. Uh, normally, it's uh, their parents, like uh, Jacqueline, the mm -hmm. situation. Uh, parents immigrant from China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and other Asian countries. They're interested in the Asian, in the Chinese music. Uh, Their interest passed to their next generation. Uh, so we just start from there. <laughs> from Do they add quite a bit? I was asking Jacqueline in terms of being as a young person adding something to it. Do yes. you feel it like they're, that the youth adds something to the music? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, they add their, their feeling, their uh, motion. Uh, they love the music, they love the cultural heritage mm -hmm. uh, to make the uh, yeah, grow up stronger, really strong. Can you talk a little bit about the instruments we're going to be hearing? Uh huh. Instrument. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Instrument. Uh -huh. The Jacqueline plays the piba, the four lute, lute, mm -hmm. four string lute, mm -hmm. and uh, the Wilin Chen plays the arhu, the two stringed violin, the vertically play, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Michael Yan plays the sheng mouth organ. Uh, oh. For uh, Adam Chang played, uh, everybody knows the uh, cello. <laughs> 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 we make, uh, that one at least I knew. Yeah, combination. <laughs> <laughs> and combination. what kind of song are we going to hear? Fu uh, Bulong Fu Moon. Is that yeah. a uh, romantic song or uh, something normally, for celebration? Yeah, normally used for Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year celebration. Uh, oh, very good. Yeah. Okay, a celebration song. Yes. Gordon, thank you very much for bringing your you're group here. You're very welcome. All right, well, let's go ahead and hear the group play anytime you're ready.
is a unique sound and you can hear and see more of it on November 1st, 2 p.m. as the Firebird Youth Chinese Orchestra takes part in the Chinese Music Appreciation Event at the Quinlan Community Center on Stelling Road in Cupertino and it's free. We want to thank Gordon Lee, all the musicians, and Christy Yamaguchi. Please join us next week and every week on Asian Pacific America. Thanks for being with us.